everyone and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lv luxury on today i will be going over my shoe collection you guys requested this via dm so i will be going over that today before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share and subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on instagram at marquita lv luxury now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Before we get started, you guys know we do a quick outfit of the day and a handbag of the day. Outfit, very simple. You guys know on Fridays, I kind of like to chill until i go out at night with my husband so this shirt was made by my husband ceo except for ceo he made me a big boss shirt black shirt black tights handbag of the day i carry this beauty out i have been talking about her a lot more the neverfull mm the unprunt leather the color black so this was the outfit they're very simple running errands, getting ready for my son's birthday party this weekend. So guys, very simple sleigh and the handbag of the day. Okay guys, this is gonna be a lengthy video. Let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna start with this column and then I'm gonna work my way over here to the Yeezy. So I'm gonna turn my camera around and we are going to go over my shoe collection. So the first are my Dolce & Gabbana heels, of course, in the color black. I absolutely love these and adore, but they do hurt. I will get, I would say about a two hour wear and then I have to change. <laughs> I have to change. So I have it in the black and I love the buckle as well. So I have in the black and I also have in this beautiful pink, you guys have seen these pink pair a few times on my page because I do have the matching handbag. So, two pair of Dolce & Gabbana. They are not comfortable. I am here to tell you guys the truth. As I stated before, two hours of wear and that's it. Maybe not even two hours for me. So, I always bring flats. But again, I do have a wide foot. So, my feet are very, very wide. Next to it are the Fendi First heels. I spoke on these in the last video. I have not worn these beauties at all. And let me see, the size is a 37. You guys know I wear a six and a half, a 36.5. So go up half a size. And I didn't go over, okay, these are a 37 as well. So go up half a size if you are interested in the Dolce & Gabbana and the Fendi First. Here, my favorite, favorite pair of heels. They are very, very comfortable. These are the LV Passenger Sandals. I have worn these out. <laughs> I have worn these out. Very comfortable. I can wear these all day. And these are a size 37 as well. They are actually discontinued. I purchased these sandals to honestly go with my Dolphin handbag. The first crossbody, the bum bag that I converted into a crossbody. And I am so happy because this these shoes, these sandals match with the Loop GM bag perfect. Mm -hmm. So this is the top row. And again, if you have any questions about any of the shoes that I am going over, please leave them in the comments. And if we have anything in common, let me know. Going down, these are a pair of Giuseppe heels. I wore these one time. I had a birthday photo shoot. And that was it. So I actually just wore them for my photo shoot. I couldn't last an hour. I had to keep taking them off. And guys, it's damaged like this. And I only had them on, honestly, an hour. I have not touched these heels anymore. I had them on downtown. Probably that's why they're scuffed up like that at the bottom. But that was it. And as you guys can see, I did have um, a gripper at the bottom and that didn't work they came off but this is a size 37 
I went up half a size and I'm telling you, that was like the most painful photo shoot ever. And they have been like boxed up, stuck here. <laughs> when I redid my closet, I haven't touched these since. Next is the YSL All Black Cassandra Heels. Mm -hmm. I would say these do hurt, but I can get elite at least five hours or a full day, honestly. I can go out on day night and I can wear these. I even wore these out for my birthday and I lasted the entire night. A lot of you guys expressed that they hurt very, very bad. After a while, it did start to like, my feet were kind of numb and so it was okay, but I did feel it at the end of the night when I took them off. And again, this is a size 37. So I went up half a size, but I can honestly say I can wear these Cassandra heels longer than any of the other heels except for the passenger sandals, okay? Next is the Versace heel. They're very classy, very beautiful. As you guys can see, I do wear these a lot. I can honestly wear these, I would say like three hours. I can complete a date night. No dancing, sitting at the table. I can complete a date night in these, and these um, are showstoppers. I always get stopped when I wear these. And this is a 36 and a half. Let me see if you can see it. A 36 and a half, so they do run true to size. Next is my most comfortable <laughs> pair of black heels. Yes, guys, Aldo heels are the best. I'm just saying. I know you guys probably say, hey, that's not luxury. But to me, I make the heels. I am luxurious and they are luxury to me. And so they are going to sit up here with these other shoes. And I can wear these all day, every day to work. I can walk in these. I can run in these. I can do whatever I need to do in these heels. And let me look at the size. And it's a size 7. Okay, a US 7, so I went up half a size. And if you guys know, I'm not really a heel person. I love tennis shoes. And basically, guys, like, that's it. I'm not a real, real heel person. I do have some. It's because I have a wide, um, my feet are wide, and it just irritates me. But I am trying to do better. Okay, so let me go down. These are the Star Trail ankle boots. I have had these now for three years. Very comfortable. I love these boots so much. These are, you can wear these, I mean, in any type of season, guys, any type of weather. You can wear these with shorts. I have worn them before. You can wear them with tennis skirts. Honestly, do not box yourself in with these Star Trail boots. Do not. I see so many people say, hey, these are winter boots. I wear these whenever I want. And it's true to size. For me, it's true to size. I heard some people say they do run small. For me, true to size, 36 and a half. I absolutely love these boots. Okay, right next to it are the LV Arch Light Tennis Shoes. I have worn these one time and I honestly <laughs> purchased these because I had the LV times LOL Neverfull. I recently sold that Neverfull and so these shoes are just sitting here. Worn one time, they were cute and that's it. I probably won't reach for these again. And let me see the size. I believe these are a 30 yes they are a 36 so i went down a size uh no i went down half a size i apologize i wear 36.5 i went down to a 36. right next are another pair of arch light sneakers these are actually on a payment plan these are sold so once she completes her payment they are going to be shipped these are a i actually had to go up i think to a no, I thought I went up to 36 and a half, but these are 36. So guys, they do run big. And as stated by the pool, these are now sold, but I would not order another pair of arch light sneakers. Unless it's just like a cool color, 
but that's it for me. Next is my LV Runway sneakers. I absolutely love these sneakers as well. Very comfortable. You can take the inside sole out if you do not want the, I'm guessing right here, it's like a little wedge. People call it a little wedge. It gives you a little height. If you do not want that extra height, you can take the inside sole out. I keep it in because if I can be a little bit taller, hey, I'm down. So I recently wore these in a picture I posted on Instagram. These were actually my first pair. And let me see the size. Okay, as you guys can see inside, it's a size 36. So go half a size down. So I have this pair. I have the black and monogram that I love wearing with my black and monogram handbags. And you guys recently saw these as well. I love this rose ballerine pink and the Damier Azure print. And here is the Dam Damier Azure print as well. So here are the runway sneakers from LV. Very, very comfortable. Again, go half a size down. Moving down to the timeout sneakers, I purchased these, I would say, two years ago to match my Neverfull S scale, the Neverfull, and I have sold the Neverfull, so I do have the pochette that comes with it. I didn't sell the pochette, so I didn't want to get rid of the shoes, and so I do have the pochette just in case I do want to bring these out. Next to it, I purchased these to go with the SKL bag as well. I forgot the color. Um, it was just the yellow, the pastel color, the pastel never full that came out with the blue SKL. I sold that handbag as well, but I do still have the shoes. And they didn't come out together, but I honestly just put them together. And hey, I just thought they were beautiful colors. I did post that as well. And let me see the size. Okay, so this is a 36. And for some reason, I don't know why I purchased a 36 and a half. Maybe at that time they didn't have a 36 available. But this is a 36. This is a 36 and a half. And you guys know how I feel about the 1854 navy and cream print. So I do have the never full. And I also have the matching belt. These are honestly my favorite time out sneakers. Perfect with blue jeans. You can basically wear this with anything because of the navy color and the cream. Here is the black and white time out sneakers. These I have never worn. <laughs> they have just been sitting here. And this is another 36 and a half. And again, I don't believe they had a 36. I remember purchasing these on the website. I didn't purchase these through my CA. They didn't have a 36 and I wanted these very, very bad. And I, I want them. I wanted them just to, I guess, have them sit because I haven't touched them. <laughs> so here are the Time Out sneakers. I love the Runway sneakers. I will purchase a pair of Runway before the Time Out. Okay, I am going to go down to the flat mule. I do have a pair of monogram flat mules. I don't know where they are. I'm just being honest. They're somewhere in the house. But here, the Damier Azure print. And as you guys can see, I wear these out size 37. So you know to go up half a size in the S scale as well to match the shoes. I wore those in Vegas. I have the Christian Dior. And are these a 37? Yeah, these are a 37. Guys, look at the bottom. <laughs> I love flats, as you guys can see. And I do have a pair of the Gucci thong sandals here. And these are a 37. I would say go up a full entire size. I wish I did because it's too perfect. You guys know what I mean? Like my heel is just like right there. But when I did the unboxing, guys, it was okay. When I tried them on, it was okay. But then after a while, I don't know. Maybe I grew. I don't know. My foot grew. But I would say go to a 36 and a half. So a full size. Okay. 
Okay, coming down here to more LV sandals. I do have these and I, I don't understand. Like this flap right here, no matter how many times I try to tape it down overnight, it will still come up. I'm not sure why it does that. Maybe because it's just like the canvas, I guess, but it does that. But I love these sandals so much. I really do. I wear these out. And as you guys can see at the bottom, I don't, I can't even see the size. As you guys can see, I wear them out. Um, Let's see. I don't know. That's a product code number. Yeah, that's the product code number. I don't know what size. Okay, I do see it a little bit. Okay, it's a 37. I do see it. It's a 37. And I forgot the name. So I'm just going to call them LB Slides. And I purchased these to go with an outfit that I had. I forgot what handbag I purchased to go with these as well. But these are LB Slides. As you guys can see, I do not wear them a lot. But I have worn them before. And let's see if they got a price. And it was so crazy. When I saw these on the website, they were sold out. And I begged my CA to find them. And when I got them, I honestly didn't even wear them that much. And here are my Fendi slides. And they are a 36. I wish I would have went up to a 36 and a half because they are perfect as well. But I love these Fendi slides. Very, very comfortable. This is my favorite part. I love the adjustment here on the side. Going down, another pair of LV tennis shoes. Okay, going down, the LV front row sneakers in monogram and black. I love wearing these with also my monogram and black handbags. I do have a picture of these with the LV Passy bag. And let me get a size. No, I know for sure these do run big. So this size, I believe, is a 36. But let me check just in case no this is a 35 and a half i knew they ran big so i actually went down an entire size i wear a 36 and a half so i went to a 35 and a half okay these sandals i cannot stand them but if i do go to the beach i will wear them i honestly wear these when i get out of the shower these are the lv sun bath i believe sun bath sandals they are so heavy i'm not even sure why i kept them this these are the first pair of sandals i actually wanted to return but i did let the time the 30 days go by so i just kept them in here but they're very very heavy but i would say perfect for the beach another pair of the lv front row sneakers these are my absolute favorite you guys see these a lot in my collection and i purchased these in a 36 and they are a bit roomy they didn't have a 35 and a half so i had to go with the 30 the 36 so i should have purchased a 35 and a half i wear a 36 and a half go an entire size down Going down to the bottom, these are my Fendi sling bag. You guys have seen these on multiple occasions. I absolutely adore these sandals. And so I do have the multi-color because you basically can pick out a color, grab a handbag, you're good to go. You can even wear these with a black handbag if you do not have any colorful handbags in your collection. And I have the monogram print. I absolutely love these sling bags as well. Perfect with black jeans. You can dress these up, dress these down. So I do have two pair in my collection. And let me get the size a 36. So I went down half a size. And they are comfortable. Moving over, I do have another pair of mules. The denim from the denim collection that was released in 2022. I do wear these with my denim Speedy 25 bandolier. Very comfortable. And let me see the size. Um, is it at the bottom? Here it is. 
So a size 37. Of course, you can wear these with jeans, some denims. You can wear these with all black. You can wear it with all white. Just be creative. I love having the handbag to match in my collection. So guys, that completes this entire side. So I am here at the top. The first pair of Yeezys is the Yeezy 500 size five and a half. I haven't worn these yet and I've had them, I will say, <laughs> like a year or two. But I am a Yeezy collector, but I love the color combo. You guys know this, these colors, anything with that orange, the tan, the navy, the cream, the brown, soft brown. These are my colors. I will get to it. I just haven't, you know, haven't worn them yet, but I love having them in my collection. Size five and a half, as you guys can see here. And these are, again, the Yeezy 500s. Okay, next is honestly my favorite pair of Yeezys. These are the Yeezy Boost 700. I love the colors. Very, very cute. I have worn these plenty of times. And let me get a size because I wear different size in Yeezy shoes. And let me see, I know these are a five and a half. I think these are a five and a half as well. Okay, I have worn them out, but I do see. Okay, these are a five and a half. These are a five and a half as well. So in the 500s, I wear a five and a half. Also in the Yeezy Boost 700s, I wear a five and a half. So I wear a six and a half shoe. So I went down an entire size. Right next to it, another pair of Yeezy Boost 700 and it's crazy because do you see the orange in basically all of these shoes i didn't even notice but i love this color wave as well go perfect with gray blue all white all black so here is the top row going down i have the dust black Yeezy Boost 700 as well. And you guys know four pair was in my in my son's luggage that was actually stole. So I am missing four pair and I'm so hurt. Okay, right next to it, my husband purchased these for me for my son's birthday. We all had them for my son's birthday last year. I don't even remember the name of these Yeezys, um, but they are a five, a size five. If I get the name, I will update you guys probably on Instagram or on um, the community tab on my YouTube channel, but I don't remember the name, but I purchased a size five. So guys, I went down a size and a half. They are so comfortable. Another pair of Yeezy 500s, and these are a five and a half as well. I love this beige cream color, and we know it as Turtle Dove, <laughs> but... I love having it in my collection. They are very, very comfortable. So moving down to the Yeezy 350s V2. I do have the zebra print. As you guys can see, my son has stained these up so much. Guys, look in the back. <laughs> they let you know he does wear them a lot. And that is honestly my 11 year old. He loves these. I don't even wear these anymore. So he can just come and take these out of here. And I think he plays basketball in them as well. Right next to it, I love this beautiful pale blue color. And my son loves these as well. All of the Yeezy 350 guys are very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. 
you guys know i love colors like this the earth tone colors and i think i believe i wear a five let me see it's like a five and a half i believe let me turn the camera make sure no these are a five okay so these are a five in the yeezy 350 so i went down a size and a half okay going down i have another pair i love these so much i don't think these are the pair that glow in the dark but I believe these, no, these are not the ones that glow in the dark. So this is like a lime green with a hint of blue. I thought it was gray, but it's actually blue with the serial number on the side. And I know for sure these are a five and a half because they didn't have a five. Another pair, guys, there it goes. That beautiful orange color. Love these earth tone colors as well so cute and these are the one that actually glow in the dark and i believe these do too i don't know i believe both of these glow in the dark but i'm never in the dark when i have them on okay going down this beautiful brown color again earth tone colors these beauties right here i actually um received these before they came out um so i love having these in my collection and this beautiful peach color another pair it's like a maroon just multi-color just like these here get some multi-color with the maroon I see like a pinkish cream color, a blue. And this is where my all black Yeezys were and those were stolen. And here are another pair of gray, blue and black. And I miss my Yeezys already, but here they go guys my entire Yeezy collection. Here is my Dolce & Gabbana collection. You guys remember when these first came out, everybody was grabbing a pair. I wanted to get so many different colors, but I didn't want to have all this bling in my collection. And so these I do reach for like every now and then, not a lot like when I first purchased, but they are too cute. They're very comfortable as well. I love those Shingabana shoes, guys. I really feel like they are the best designer shoes. I will purchase a pair of Dolce Gabbana before LV. Okay, I love these jewel Dolce and Gabbana. I wear these with the LV heart bag. Because I love the little heart here on the side. I love the jewels. I love the creativity on these. And let me get a size for you guys. Okay, it's right there. Yay, a size 36. So I went down half a size. And what size did I get in these? I don't even know. I don't know what size I got in those guys. Okay, what size? Okay, a size 37. Okay, so I honestly had to go up half a size, went down half a size, and these are one of my favorite pair of tennis shoes in my collection. You guys see these a lot as well. And let me see the size. I love Dolce & Gabbana runner shoes. And my husband purchased these for me last year for my birthday. And they are a 36 and a half, okay? So these are true to size. So this is my Dolce & Gabbana shoes. 
of course, of course, you guys know we need an all white solid pair of the Nike Air Force Ones. I haven't worn these yet, but they are here in my collection just in case. And I honestly think that my daughter is going to take these from me because we just found out her shoe, her all white Nikes were in the luggage as well. But we do wear the same size. Okay, these were my birthday heels. A lot of people honestly thought these were like some fashion over heels, but guys, no, they were not. These heels were actually like $800. And they actually have a store in Las Vegas because this is where I purchased this pair. Same company, very comfortable. And I tore these shoes up. <laughs> I am dangerous, but let me see the size. And this is a 38. So that lets you know, guys, these run extremely small and I wear a 36 and a half. So I honestly had to go up an entire size and a half. Mm -hmm. So this is a 38. I purchased these in Las Vegas. They had their own store. I purchased these last year for my birthday and I believe I purchased these out of Nordstrom's and they were like $800 and let me see and yep a size 38 as well so cute I love these because it, they go with my rose ballerine pink pochette Matisse and my speedy 25 bandolier okay so moving down to my LV slippers you guys know this was like a huge, huge thing for me. I My CA sent both. She knew exactly what she was doing. I couldn't pick. And so guess what? I went ahead and purchased both. So I have the cream and pink. I do have the pink and cream. And guys, look at these black. <laughs> I am going to tell you, look where my toe is. You can tell where my toe. Do not wear these every day. Guys, this honestly was me wearing for like a week. I wore them with socks and it's still indented right here. So as you guys can see, do you see where I'm telling you guys, I haven't wore these enough for it to <laughs> leave an imprint right there. So once I saw that, I was like, you know what? I'm not wearing them like that every day. I'm not. So... I have to be careful with these so they won't end up like these. <laughs> like my son says, what are those? Just be careful if you do purchase, okay? But I do love them. They are very, very comfy. As you guys see, I have on, because they are headed that way now, my Versace slippers. And my kids purchased these for me for um for mother's day and for my birthday but guys even when you wear socks the bottom of the um the bottom of the shoe is is going to fade no matter what you can't get away from it i'm just being honest with you i have tried socks i have tried everything and it's still going to leave an indention okay guys so this is this side and like oh my god i just hate my yeezys were stolen from me but here is this side and as stated guys i'm not a big heel person but i did say that i am going to purchase some more uh loops some more red bottoms and i also have the desert platform boots they cannot fit in my shoe rack. And so I honestly put these with my husband's shoes. I wear these in the fall. Houston, we don't have a winter. So I wear these in the fall. You guys have saw these plenty of times on my Instagram page. I love them. They are very comfortable. You need a pair of desert platform shoes. Well, boots from LV. You need a pair of desert platform boots from LV very comfortable i love these so much yes it is some weight to them and they are true to size a 36 and a half 
True to size, guys. I love these. I love these boots. I love both pair of boots. So, boots from LV, very comfortable. I stand behind them 100%. I rate them a 10. Go and grab you some boots for the fall. I also said that I was going to do a video on the upcoming fall collection, the upcoming boots that I think you guys need to go ahead and start hey, saving for because I am a boot person and I cannot wait. These are just my show shoes, guys. I do have other shoes that are not luxury. I do have other boots that are not luxury, but this is basically my show closet. So I just wanted to show you guys because you asked questions when I do my videos, what shoe is what. So I hope I was able to help, especially with the sizes. And I just gave my honest opinion, okay? So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, stay safe. Stay blessed. Until next time. Bye-bye.